All right, guys, so welcome back to another video. So lately, I've been looking for a shaft for my driver. Uh, I tried out a very good shaft when I was fitted for the Stealth 2. Uh, it was a Ventus Fujikura shaft, stiff, 50 grams. And so, you know, I realized that maybe the shaft is quite important for, especially when hitting the driver. And I just uh, encountered this big, big problem because as I was looking for a second half shaft or a new shaft, um, basically what I discovered is that there was a lot of uh, uh, shafts that were not, did not have uh, information on it in the manufacturer's website. So, uh, and these were legit, uh, like, you know, shafts made from, a, from an old SIM driver, shafts from, um, from the Stealth as well and uh or just the shaft that they were selling by by just shaft only and so i started to think you know i started to wonder what how is this possible how can you have a shaft where there is no information on the manufacturer's website i, I looked through it and you know because a lot of times you find the older models uh they should put the older older models obviously but this was just you know it's the new ventus red shaft so it has to be there and it's not. And it wasn't only for the Ventus shaft, there was also for the Tensei shaft. Uh, there was a particular shaft that came with the SIM2 driver where there is no information about it. It's only information about uh, a shaft that is similar to it, but not that particular shaft on it. Okay, so let me show you here. This is on eBay uh, where you can find, um, uh, I was looking for a Ventus red shaft. And they're quite expensive. Look at this, $350 for a shaft. Uh, it was a red one. And if I scroll down, um, I, I see a shaft that is like $46. And it says uh, Ventus Red. And so I start to think, okay, hold on a second. There is a shaft that is, that is sold for $350. And there's, yeah, it's used, but it's $46. So it's like a a tear of the price or even less and if i keep scrolling then i see more of this then i see a used chef aventus red and this one right here is uh 199 uh bidding for 199 so pre-owned so that was that's more likely to be uh the price you know a new 350 second hand 199 it could be like that so but the problem is that there is all this all the shafts right here that um that basically that I don't know what they are. I mean, I click on it, I look at it, and they look similar. Uh, it says Fujikura, it says five stiff, so 50 gram stiff. Then if I look at the website for uh, Fujikura, you can choose your uh, your Bento shaft. There is the uh, TR version and just the uh, regular version. And you can see the color is different. So the red one, is they don't have a red one that is that is with the black finish there. So where does it come from? Um, if I scroll down here to the specs and I look at the Ventus uh, Red, uh, I see that one, you know, they, they just have that model there. So there is no other, because the other one is 60 grams. So it has to be one model there. And then if I look, you know, maybe uh, they have uh, other shafts here that they're not, you know, older shafts maybe, but it will be strange because uh, it's a new shaft. So I go to golf shafts, I go to woods, and they have Ventus TR and Ventus standard, right? So that was the standard. So if I go to the Ventus TR, then it brings me to this other page and I can see the uh, the pictures. And that's the, the, it has the TR on it. So that's the shaft that I actually try myself. So um but there is no information about this other shaft right here that you can see online so where, where is this coming from it's not the same you can see that there's the there's the black finish with red the other one is is red and slightly blackish but it's not it's not the same shaft so if a shaft costs 350 dollars and then they had you know 250 so that adds up to about 500 600 dollars for like the Stealth 2. And you say, okay, that's fine. That's how they get the price. But a lot of times I think what happens is that you see, uh, especially when you go into the fitting process, uh, like I did, uh, they gave me this really nice shaft TR and I looked it up and the cost of that shaft is 350. And obviously a lot of times I think you don't pay 
that much attention to the chef. You know, it's like, okay, you know, you're not going to check and see exactly, you know, they tell you, you kind of trust people. So, uh, you know, they say, it's, for me, it was like 50 grams stiff. Uh, and then you see the, the brand Ventus Fujikura. Okay, fine. But if you look, look carefully, uh, there is different variants of that chef. I'm gonna show you the same thing for the Tensei shaft. I uh, looked at a SIM2 Max driver and it had this Tensei shaft, uh, 60 gram stiff. And you know, I look at Tensei, I was like, okay, this is a pretty good shaft. Um, you know, it's uh, expensive as well. And so I went to eBay and then um, actually, when I saw the picture of the actual seller, it said Tensei uh, 6, 60 grams stiff. And then I wanted to get more information on the torque and stuff like that. So I went to the manufacturer website and then to my surprise, there was no, um, that model wasn't there. So I'll show you here. If you go to um, uh, here, I'll show you this right here where it says the, um, where it gives you the the tensei here. If, if, if you look um, on the weight, it says K, a CK series 60, grams flex stiff mitsubishi and it looks legit you know and this is the, the exact same i saw already mounted on the sim2 driver but if i go into the website uh i pick the orange uh, because it's the orange one and if i look through the left side there is no 60 it's only 65 or 55 so and even written on the on the shaft so it's another discrepancy there is no i mean how come you can't find that same shaft that it is apparently it's legit but at this point is it um is it similar uh what are the characteristics of it i mean if i want to look at the torque if i if i want to look in here on this shaft right here i can see all the information the weight the tip um the torque in particular for me is quite important uh but i, I can't see that on the on this shaft right here because it, there is no where's the model is this is orange 60 and here I don't see orange 60 it says orange 65 okay, I'll show you here the sim driver that I've seen on this you know second hand and you can see okay there's a sim driver uh sim max with everything you know uh, you can see the quality of the of the driver I know that it's legit because you can see the head is legit and this is a side that you know they they don't they wouldn't sell uh um any fake items but if I look at this shaft if I go uh, zoom in it says a b series 60 gram flex x mitsubishi uh chemical okay so you know i'm 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 thinking you know it's a tensei shaft so it's a pretty good shaft and then but if i look at the website on the on the, for this um for this uh shaft i cannot find it so this right here will be i have to go back to the uh let me see the series is it says AB series, okay? So I'll go and I look at the AB series. So, okay, I'm already on it, AB series. And then I have to look at the blue because that's a blue shaft, no problem. Okay, and then uh, let me just show you here. It says 65 here, okay, 65. There, and it says uh, Mitsubishi chemical, 65. And if I look at the chart, you're not gonna find 60, it says 65 65 65 75 or 55 so why how come there is a product in here uh it's not in here i mean it should be here it should be even if it was a uh, older model it the shaft should be here and i have no you know explanation for it i don't understand why i cannot find the specs for it you know i like to see what is the torque on it i like to see some of the information about the shaft but i can't find it all right, so I don't want to be controversial, obviously, but I think just uh, be careful when you're buying a driver and make sure you take pictures of the shaft that you're testing and make sure it's the same shaft that you get if you purchase it. Or, you know, if you see it, make sure that they're not doing anything with the shafts because a lot of times um, I feel that it's a different shaft. And I don't think they're uh, fake, obviously. But I think it's the same. It's the same manufacturer that uh, puts away these shafts that are similar. One is the price is huge, and the other one, I guess, they use it with the uh, they sell it with the driver that you're. You know, they say that it's fitted for that driver. But I think it's no. There is something. There's more to it, in my opinion. So I don't think it's going to be the same quality uh, because I mean, if you don't have, why would you do that? Why would you not include information on your website about this shaft? So.
uh, to me that is very strange so I would rather have like the the shaft that you see all the specs on it so uh, unless there's something that I don't know and if you do know make sure uh, you know fill me in uh, write a comment and explain to me you know how it works because I'm really puzzled uh, you know I was just looking for a shaft all I wanted is just a shaft for my driver and uh, I stumbled into this situation that is quite, um, you know, alarming, I would say. So what I decided to do is just, uh, I'm gonna buy a shaft because I was about to buy, a, you know, a driver, secondhand driver, and then I I saw this discrepancy and obviously I didn't, I didn't go for it. So I think I, I wanna buy something that where I can see all the information on the manufacturer's website. Uh, even if maybe they will claim that it's, it's the same, it's just slightly different for fitted for that driver. I'm not buying that. I don't think that's, to me, there's something more. Anyways, guys, uh, just be careful when you're buying a driver and make sure to check the, the shaft. Make sure that, take a picture of it and make sure that that shaft, uh, the, the one that you're fitting, you're, you're fitted for is the same that the one that you're gonna get. So uh, just a word of caution there. And you know, I don't wanna be controversial. I just stumbled into this just by chance because I was looking for a shaft. Maybe there's the same thing is going on with not only Tensei and, uh, the Vento shaft, maybe with all the shafts is the same. I don't know. I don't know how it works. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.